Good morning, everyone. We're going to get started. Running a little late. And I asked all members to take their seat, and the guests and visitors retire behind the rail, and we'll get started. Thank you very much. To give our invocation this morning, the chair recognizes the Reverend Menu C. Samuel of Ascension Martoma Church. He is here today as the guest of Councilman O. I would ask all guests and visitors and members to please rise. Morning. Morning. I'm happy to inform you about my church. The Martoma Syrian Church of Malabar is part of the ancient Christian community on the southwestern coast of India. Saint Thomas, one of the apostles of Jesus Christ, is believed to have founded the church in AD 52. It is an Eastern church under Orthodox tradition. About Ascension Martoma Church, it is uh, one of the largest Indian churches in Philadelphia with a membership of over 1,000 people, which is located in Northeast Philadelphia. We have worship every Sunday and many community activities. I am the current vicar and the president of the Ascension Martoma Church, Philadelphia. Mr. Danny B. Thomas and his wife, Rachel are also with me. He's, he's right now the vice president of my church. And I take this opportunity to give my special thanks to Honorable David O, councilman at large, for inviting me for this invocation at today's council session. Thank you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the countless blessings that you have showered upon this great nation, especially in the city of Philadelphia. You have guided our leaders since its inception by sending your Holy Spirit upon them and strengthened them to look after the well-being of your people, irrespective of caste, class, religion, color, and even nationality. At this time, we commit our President Barack Obama, our Governor of Pennsylvania, particularly Honorable Mayor Michael Nutter, the City Council President Darrell Clark, and all the council members to your mighty hands. Sanctify the bodies, souls, and spirits of these your children so that with pure and confident hearts they may dispense their responsibilities without any discrimination and partiality. Lord, give us the peace of your presence and the certainty that in light and in dark, you will never leave us nor forsake us and that you never let us go. Bless this meeting by your presence. Strengthen our council members by your Holy Spirit to take the appropriate and the best decisions for the betterment of the people and the city of brotherly love. Help them to use whatever gifts and whatever strength they have to help the poor and to make useful contributions to the life and the work of this great country and the world. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend, for those inspiring words. Council of
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The next order of business is the approval of the journal of the meeting on Thursday, October 16, 2014. The chair recognizes Councilman Greenlee. Folks, I ask you, please quiet. And before we proceed, if anyone has a uh, device, electronic, uh, that makes any type of noise, I'd ask you to please to either turn it off or turn it on silent. Thank you. Council, Councilman Greenlee. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, October 16th, 2014 be approved. Second. It's been moved and properly seconded that the journal of the meeting of Thursday, October 16, 2014 stand approved. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it and the journal is approved. Thank you very much. The next order of business is request for leaves of adaptance and the chair recognizes Councilman Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the majority, there are no requests for leaves of absence today. Thank you, Councilman. Chair recognizes Councilman O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the Republicans, there are no requests for leave of absence. Thank you, Councilman. At this time, I would like to dispense with the regular order of business, and I would like to welcome and thank everyone who has come down today to witness their government in action. Uh, we really appreciate you taking time out of your day uh, to see your government. Uh, we hope that your experience here today is a pleasurable one, so much so that you come back again. So again, thank you very much. This time, Chair recognizes Councilman Heenan, who will present a resolution honoring Maria Walsh. Would Ms. Walsh and those accompanying her please join the Councilman at the podium? And joining Councilman Heenan, we have Councilman Good and Councilwoman Kiona Sanchez and Councilman Nielsen. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, the Rosa Charlie International Festival is one of our, Ireland's largest and longest running festivals, celebrating 55 years in 2014. The heart of the festival is the selection of the Rosa Charlie, which brings young women of Irish descent from around the world and to the County Kerry, Ireland, for a global celebration of Irish culture. This year's winner we recognize here today is focused on celebrating women's intelligence, careers, and their volunteer work in her candidacy. Today, we honor Maria for her leadership in helping strengthen Philadelphia's presence in the international community, particularly in Ireland, and for being a leader right here in Philadelphia. For myself, and for this council body, and the entire city of Philadelphia, let me be just one of many, but not certainly the last, to say congratulations to Maria on being named to this great honor. The city is very proud of you. A resolution honoring Maria Walsh, whereas Maria's, Maria Walsh, a proud Philadelphia resident, was named the 2014 Rosa Tralee. The 27-year-old was crowned the 56th Rose during the annual International Rose of Tralee Festival in County Kerry, Ireland. And whereas the International Rose of Tralee Festival honors Irish women from around the world for their intelligence, career successes, and volunteer work. Let me repeat that. Intelligence, career successes, and volunteer work. And whereas Ms. Walsh was born in Boston, Massachusetts, Maria and her family relocated to their orig original home of Shruley County Mayo in Ireland when she was a young girl. And whereas Maria attended school in Ireland, eventually enrolling at Griffith College in Dublin and earning a degree in journalism and visual media arts. And Whereas following her graduation from college, the newest Rose of Tralee moved to New York City and later to the city of Brotherly Love. Maria still resides in Philadelphia, where she serves as store manager for anthropology on Rittenhouse Square. Whereas Maria is looking forward to being an ambassador for the Rose of Tralee International Festival. The primary objective of the festival is to connect the global Irish community of 70 million people at an annual celebration in Tralee, County Curry, Ireland each year. And And whereas, as part of her duties and responsibilities associated with being in the Rosa Charlie, Maria hopes to serve as a role model for the young Irish children across the globe, urging them to get involved in, with supporting and volunteering with, for charitable groups and organizations. It is through these efforts that Maria hopes to show the world that a rose truly can make a difference. And now, therefore, 
resolved by the City Council of Philadelphia that we hereby honor and congratulate the 2014 Rosa Trolley Maria Walsh for representing the Irish community and the entire city of Philadelphia with pride at the Rosa Trilly International Festival. Resolve further that an engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to Maria Walsh and the Philadelphia Rosa Trilly organization team, further evidencing the grateful appreciation and deep admiration of this legislative body. Congratulations. <laughs> Chair recognizes Ms. Walsh for remarks. Good morning, everybody. Uh, very few words. Uh, I just want to say a special thank you to the Council President for having me here, all of you, and a special mention of thank you to Councilman Bobby Hennon and his staff, in particular Chris Creelman, um, the Rosa Trilly International Festival, for uh, allowing me to, to represent uh, this great city of Philadelphia. And, in, and a special thank you. Uh, three years ago, I'm, I moved to Philadelphia from New York, um, obviously, originally born and bred in, uh, in Shrew, County Mayo, but I moved to Philadelphia to explore a new part of myself and fell in love with the city and what a great home it has been to me. Um, the Philadelphia Rose Center welcomed me with open arms in celebration of all Irish women, in particular, you know, Irish American women, um, and it's been a fantastic honor to represent this great city um, on this international stage in Tralee um, and across the world as I go on my travels. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Council will be at ease. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass, who will present a resolution recognizing Art Reach with, with Ms. Marion Young, with Marion Young and those accompanying her. Please join the Councilwoman at the podium. And joining Councilwoman Bass, we have Councilwoman Lionel Reynolds Brown.
Good morning. You know, growing up here in Philadelphia, I can recall uh, many of the things that I was able to do and had access to, and often they were the free things. That was coming here to City Hall and, you know, going on a tour and going up to the, to the top of the tower and um, looking down on the city and seeing everything that you can see. And it was also going to the Free Library of Philadelphia down on the parkway. And all of those things that really made growing up in the city so special. But one of the things that I wondered along the way is about passing by the Art Museum, the Franklin Institute, places along the parkway that I didn't have access to because I couldn't afford to go in. We couldn't afford, my family couldn't afford um, those, uh, what were really extravagances at that time. And so I am so pleased that Art Reach is here that is really going to make that no longer an issue here in the city of Philadelphia because art doesn't just belong to those who are wealthy. Art belongs to everyone of every economic status from those who have to those who do not have and everyone in between. And so I want to thank Marion Young for really bringing art for, for really bringing art reach um, into Philadelphia and I know it's happening in other cities. And I do want to read uh, our resolution which reads that we are recognizing and honoring ArtReach for the Access Admi Admission Initiative, which connects underserved populations with Philadelphia's art and cultural institutions. Whereas on September 1st, ArtReach, an arts accessibility nonprofit aimed at expanding the arts and cultural opportunities for lower income families, launched the Access Admission Initiative. And whereas access admission connects Philadelphians who carry an access or EBT card with 17 area museums for the discounted rate of $2 per person. And whereas 30% of Philadelphians and 16% of residents in the surrounding five, county, five counties participate in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program and receive EBT cards and Whereas admission to some museums can cost upwards of $20 per person, greatly limiting access to our undeserved, underserved residents who are on fixed budgets. The access admission program will permit nearly 480,000 residents to visit a variety of museums and arts programs throughout the Philadelphia area. And whereas the Access Admission Initiative furthers the mission of ArtReach by connecting underserved families with museums, science centers, historic sites, and gardens. And whereas in the first year, participating Access Admission venues consist of 17 sites, including the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the National Constitution Center, Independent Seaport Museum, the Please Touch Museums, and many others. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia that the Council hereby recognizes and honors ArtReach for the Access Admission Initiative, which connects underserved populations with Philadelphia's art and cultural institutions. Further resolved that an engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to the ArtReach to ArtReach as evidence of the sincere sentiments of this legislative body. Thank you. Chair, recognize Ms. Young for remarks. Uh, thank you so much uh, to the Council President, to Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Reynolds-Brown. Uh, ArtReach has been absolutely thrilled to develop and launch the Access Admission Initiative and help over 650,000 access cardholders in our region visit some of our amazing museums, giving unprecedented cultural opportunities to low-income individuals and families in Philadelphia. ArtReach's mission is to connect underserved audiences to cultural experiences so that they may enjoy and benefit from the transformative power of the arts, and Access Admission allows us to do this in exponentially increased ways. Uh, this program would not be possible without the generous participation of the 17 museums who have embraced this discount opportunity and enthusiastically signed on. We have also worked with over 50 community partners to help spread the word, and thank you to all of you in City Council who have helped share the information with your constituents. In just our first month of the program, September, I am pleased to announce that over 1,500 vi individuals visited museums through Access Admission. We look forward to sharing progress over the year, and I just wanted to end with one quick story. We um, received feedback already about the program, and one mother shared with us, this past weekend, my son and I visited the Morris Arboretum. This would not have been possible for us without the general 
generous discount we received through Access Admission. Instead of my son spending his weekend sitting in front of the television, he had a wonderful time identifying native plants and trees, learning about a grist mill, seeing corn being ground right in front of his eyes, and tasting muffins made from freshly ground corn. He even got a chance to grind corn by pedaling a bike, and the joy on his face was priceless. Thank you so much. Thank you, Council Beatties. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next order of business is communications. The chair requested the Sergeant of Arms delivers the messages from the mayor to the chief clerk. Mr. Decker, would you please read those messages? To the president and members of the council of the city of Philadelphia, pursuant to sections 4604 and 2307 of the Home Road Charter, I am today transmitting to the council the recommendation of the city planning commission on the following bills. Bill numbers 140647, 140652, 140719, 140651, 140633, and 140648. And I am pleased to advise you that on this October 22, 2014, I signed bill number 130693A, which was passed by council at its session on October 9, 2014. And that I hereby return bill number 140514A, which was passed by council at its session on October 9, 2014, without my signature. And I am transmitting for the consideration of your honorable body a resolution approving the redevelopment contract of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority for the redevelopment and urban renewal of a portion of the model city's urban renewal area identified by house number and street address as 3146 Diamond Street, all under certain terms and conditions. Thank you, Mr. Decker. Those messages will be printed in today's journal. Do you have any additional communications? I have none, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Mr. Decker. At this time, we have the introduction of bills and resolutions, and the chair recognizes Councilman Kenny. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two bills and one resolution, which I'd like to be heard today. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. An ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code and Title Zoning and Planning by creating an entity to review properties listed on the National Register of Historic Places for possible designation on the Philadelphia Register of Historic Places. 
That bill will be referred to the appropriate committee. And an ordinance authorizing transfers and appropriations for fiscal year 2015 from the Grants Revenue Fund, the Director of Finance Provision for Other Grants, to the General Fund, the Department of Public Property, Philadelphia Historical Commission. That bill will also be referred to committee. And a privileged resolution celebrating the vibrant, impactful, and accomplished life of Gloria Cesares, Director of the Mayor's Office of LGBT, LGBT Affairs, whose tragic passing at the age of 42 is a profound loss to family, friends, and the countless, countless Philadelphians whose lives were improved because of her service. That resolution will be on this week's final passage calendar, and the Chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. I have one privileged resolution and one non-privileged resolution, and I will note that the, that the privileged resolution has been uh, co-signed by every member of council, and it, that deals with, um, that's what happens, you're doing too many things, that deals with asking for negotiations with the SRC in the school district. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. A non-privileged resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration to these conveying additional fees, simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements thereon, situated in the 6th and 44th wards of the City of Philadelphia. That resolution will be on next week's final passage calendar. And a non-privileged resolution urging the School Reform Commission to resume contract negotiations with the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers. That resolution will also be on next week's final passage calendar. And the Chair recognizes Councilman Greenlee. Thank you, Mr. President. On your behalf, I offer one bill and three resolutions. Thank you, Councilman. An ordinance authorizing Joshua Shemish to install, own, and maintain an open air sidewalk cafe at 1301 Frankfurt Avenue. That bill will be referred to committee. And a privileged resolution honoring and congratulating Maniko Spigner, Spigner Macbeth for winning the 2014 Free to Lay Do Us a Flavor contest. That resolution will be on this week's final passage calendar. And a non-privileged resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds can bank conditional fees, simple title to sitting on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 18th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. That will be on next week's final passage calendar. And a non-privileged resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds can bank conditional fees, simple title to sitting on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 28th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. And that resolution will also be on next week's final passage calendar, and the chair recognizes Councilman Heenan. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilman. The chair recognizes Councilwoman Tasco. Thank you, Councilwoman. The chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Mr. President, I have two bills and two resolutions. Thank you, Councilman. You're welcome. An ordinance authorizing the Procurement Commission on behalf of the city to enter into a concession agreement with Titan Outdoor for the provision of a coordinated street furniture program. That bill will be referred to committee. And an ordinance amending chapter 193900 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Tax Exemptions for Longtime Owner Occupants of Residential Properties by extending the deadline to apply for the exemption authorized by this chapter on behalf of certain property owners who were eligible for the exemption in the first year that it was available, but who missed the deadline to apply. That will be referred to committee. And a non-privileged resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fees, simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 36th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. That resolution will be on next week's final passage calendar. And a non-privileged resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fees, simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 36th Ward of the City of Philadelphia. That will also be on next week's Final passage calendar. The chair recognizes Councilwoman McEwen Sanchez. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilwoman. The chair recognizes Councilman Nielsen. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions. Thank you, Councilman. The chair recognizes Councilman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no bills or resolutions today. Thank you, Councilman. The chair recognizes Councilman Good. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll for one bill. Thank you.
An ordinance amending Chapter 18-201 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Leases of Airport Facilities by Requiring Ground Handling Service and uh, Ground Handling Service Providers under service contracts with air carriers, including subcontractors, providing such services who are operating at Philadelphia International Airport to secure, secure labor peace agreements to minimize the risk of service disruptions and lost revenue to the city generated from emplanements. Enplan that bill will be referred to committee. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer one resolution, uh, all in an effort to follow and learn from uh, Councilman Kenyatta Johnson. Thank you, Councilwoman. A privilege resolution recognizing and reaffirming the City of Philadelphia's commitment toward the benefits of a diet high in fruits and vegetables and urging residents to participate in Meatless Mondays to, in order to improve their health. <laughs> that resolution will be on this week's final passage calendar. The chair recognizes Councilman Jones. And for the record, uh, Councilman Kenny is on a, a meatless diet as well. Uh, his whole attitude is different now. <laughs> Such a cheery fellow. So I said, cheery fellow. Uh, no bills or resolutions today, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman Jones, and it is so noted. Uh, <laughs> 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 recognizes Councilman O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer two bills. Thank you, Councilman. An ordinance authorizing the city solicitor on behalf of the city to enter into a multi-year contract with a provider of codification, editing, and marketing services to produce printed and electronic versions of the 11th edition of the Philadelphia Code and zoning and planning supplement and the 2015 reprint of the Philadelphia Home or Charter with periodic supplements to each. A bill will be referred to committee. And, and an ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Zoning and Planning by revising regulations relating to home occupations, making conforming amendments to other provisions of Title 14 and making technical changes. That bill will also be referred to committee and its chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer uh, two privileged um, resolutions, one on your behalf. Thank you, Councilman. A privilege resolution honoring and congratulating the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society 2014 Flower Show for winning 17 awards, including being named the world's best event by the International Festivals and Events Association. That resolution will be on today's final passage calendar. And a privilege resolution author authorizing the Committee on Public Health and Human Services to conduct hearings concerning the impact of bed bugs on physical and mental health, the rights and responsibilities of dealing with bed bug infestation, and to commission a bed bug task force to determine best management practices and recommendations. That resolution will be on today's final passage calendar, and the chair recognizes Councilwoman Bass. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. President. I have two privilege resolutions. Thank you, Councilwoman. A privilege resolution honoring heavyweight boxer, Philadelphia native and Germantown High School graduate, Steve USS Cunningham on his recent boxing victory at the 2300 Arena. That resolution will be on this week's final pass, this calendar, and the chair right and now. A, Oops, I'm sorry. And a privilege resolution honoring Rosalind McKelvey for her commitment and dedication to services for the deaf and hard of hearing residents of the 8th Council District. Thank you. And that resolution will be on this week's final passage calendar. And the chair now recognizes Councilman O. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer uh, two bills, uh, co-sponsored both by um, Council Members Jones and Bass, and a resolution co-sponsored by yourself and members uh, Quinona Sanchez, Quila, and Bass. Thank you, Councilman. An ordinance amending Title 12 of the Philadelphia Code and Title Traffic Code, Chapter 12100, General Provisions, by adding new definitions, and Chapter 12900, Parking Regulations and Penalties, by adding live performing arts venue to the entries exempt from paying fees for curb loading zone permits, and adding a new section entitled Performing Arts Priority Loading and Unloading Zones. That bill will be referred to committee. And an ordinance amending Title 17 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Contracts and Procurement by adding a new chapter entitled Local Performing Artists Requirement, requiring that 10% of performing arts events receive, receiving city financial resources be spent on local performing artists. That bill will be referred to committee. And a privileged resolution commemorating the dedication of an official state historical marker that recognizes and honors Edison High School and its former students who died in the Vietnam War. 
And that resolution will be on this week's final passage calendar. And that concludes the introduction of bills and resolutions. And we will now move to reports from the committee. And the chair recognizes Councilman Good for a report from the committee on appropriations. Thank you, Mr. President. The committee on appropriations reports three bills with favorable recommendation. Thank you. Mr. Decker, please read the report. To the President and members of the Council of the City of Philadelphia, the Committee on Appropriations, to which is referred Bill Number 140695, entitled an ordinance authorizing the, trans the transfer in appropriations for fiscal year 2015 within the general fund from the Department of Human Services Prisons to the Office of Housing and Community Development to support landscaping and lot cleaning jobs in the Philadelphia Reentry Employment Program for returning citizens. And Bill Number 140748, entitled an ordinance amending Bill Number 140145A, approved June 19, 2014, entitled an ordinance to adopt the fiscal 2000 15 capital budget by adding and revising certain projects, amounts, and sources. And Bill Number 140749, entitled an ordinance amending Bill Number 140144A, approved June 19, 2014, entitled an ordinance to adopt a capital program for the six fiscal years 2015 through 2020 inclusive by adding and revising certain projects, amounts, and sources. Respectfully reports it has considered the same and returns the attached bills to Council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. Chair again recognizes Councilman Good. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bills number 140695, 140748, and 140749. Thank you. It has been moved and probably second that the rules of council be suspended this day so as to permit first reading of bills number 140695, 140748, and 140749. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And these bills will be placed on our first reading calendar for today. Chair now recognizes Councilman Heenan for a report from the Committee on Public Works. Thank you, Mr. President. The Committee on Public Property and Public Works reports one bill with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Decker, please read the report. The Committee on Public Property and Public Works, to which is referred Bill Number 140693, entitled An Ordinance Authorizing the Commission of Public Property to convey to the Philadelphia Authority for Industrial Development all or part of a parcel of land and any improvements located at 3300 through 98 C Street, front and rear, for further conveyance under certain terms and conditions. Respectfully reports it has considered the same and returns the attached bill to Council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. Chair again recognizes Councilman Heenan. Thank you, Mr. President, I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit the first reading of this day, Bill Number 140693. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and probably second that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day's of Bills Number 140693. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And these bills will that bill will be placed on the first reading calendar to, at today's session. Chair now recognizes Councilwoman McKeon Sanchez for a report from the Committee on License and Inspection. Thank you, Mr. President. The Committee on Licenses and Inspections reports three bills out with favorable recommendations. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Decker, please read that report. The Committee on Licenses and Inspections, which is referred Bill Number 140055, entitled An Ordinance Amending Title IV of the Philadelphia Code, entitled the Philadelphia Building Construction and Occupancy Code, by amending Subcode F, the Philadelphia Fire Code, by adding certain provisions related to fire safety and prevention and inventory of vacant buildings or structures. And Bill Number 140608, entitled An Ordinance Amending Title IV of the Philadelphia Code, the Philadelphia Building Construction and Occupancy Code, Subcode A, the Philadelphia Administrative Code, and Subcode PM, the Philadelphia Property Maintenance Code by amending requirements applicable to vacant premises. And Bill Number 140723, entitled an ordinance amending Title IV of the Philadelphia Code, by amending Subcode PM, the Philadelphia Property Maintenance Code, by adding the 10th Council Manic District to the list of areas covered by certain building standards. Respectful reports that has considered the same and returns the attached bills to Council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. Chair again recognizes Councilwoman McEwen and Sanchez. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading today of bills number 140055, 140608, and 140723. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second that the rules of council be suspended this day as to permit first reading of bills number 140055, 140608, and 140723. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. And these bills will be placed on our first reading calendar today. Chair now recognizes Councilman Jones for a report from the Committee of Public Safety. Thank you, Mr. President. The Committee on Public Safety reports three bills with a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. 
Mr. Decker, please read the report. The Committee on Public Safety, to which is referred Bill number 140637, entitled an ordinance amending chapter 10800 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Safety, by revising the penalties for the selling of any gun or implement that is not a firearm, which forcefully impels a pellet of any kind. And bill number 140718, entitled an ordinance amending chapter 10800 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Safety, by prohibiting the sale, possession, or use of toy or imitation firearms, which substantially duplicate or can be reasonably perceived to be actual firearms. And bill number 140720, entitled an ordinance amending title 10 of the Philadelphia Code, entitled Regulation of Individual Conduct and Activity, to add a new chapter 102100, entitled Hate Crimes, to provide for additional penalties for criminal conduct motivated by hatred towards certain characteristics of other persons. Respectfully reports it has considered and amended the same and returns the attached bills to council with a favorable recommendation. Thank you. Chair again recognizes Councilman Jones. Mr. President, I move that the rules of council be suspended so as to permit first reading this day of bills number 140637, 140718, and 140720. Thank you. It's been moved and properly second that the rules of council be suspended this day so as to permit first reading. Uh, bills number 140637, 140718, and 140720. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, ayes have, and these bills will be placed on our first reading calendar today. That completes our committee report. And the next order of business is the consideration of the calendar. I note that these bills just reported from committee have been deemed to have had a first reading. These bills will be placed on our second reading and final passes calendar at our next session of council. As there are no additional bills on the first reading calendar, the chair recognizes Councilman Jones for the purpose of calling up bills and resolutions on the final passage calendar today. Thank you again, Mr. President. The following resolutions and bills are being called up from second reading and final passage calendars today. Numbers 140805, 140807, 140808, 140813, 140486, 140651, 140691, 140696, 130879, 140487, 140633, 140646, 140647, 140648, 140652, and 140719. All other resolutions and bills are being held. Thank you. Uh, before considering these bills and resolutions on the final passes calendar, we will have our public comment session. Uh, the public comment session will go as follows. If you are interested in testifying on a bill or resolution that is on the final passes calendar, if you haven't already done so, I'd ask that you please sign up at the table to my left. Uh, if you have signed up, your name will be called by the chief clerk. Uh, at that time, you will be asked to go to the podium in the middle of the council, council chambers. Uh, there is a device on that table. Uh, when the light on the table turns green, it is your time to speak. When it turns yellow, you have 30 seconds to conclude your remarks. And when it turns red, we'd ask that you please adhere to the guidelines established by this council and conclude your remarks. Thank you very much. Mr. Decker, please call the name of the first witness. Patrick Duff. Good morning, Council President Council. Good morning. Um, I'm commenting actually on the flower show, and then I'm going to go into just a little something different. And uh, I want to say congratulations. You know, the flower show, 17 awards, that's great. $61 million in revenue it brought to the area, right? Tax revenue, probably about $4 million we got out of that. Now, let's think about it. It's a flower, right? We're selling flowers. There's one flower that you guys just decriminalized that if we sold, and Colorado is selling this year, collected $70 million of tax revenue from legal marijuana in Colorado. Now. That being said, we have a city that just decriminalized pot, and it's kind of like the chicken and the egg thing. You know, where do you get it? You know, if I can have it and it's legal for me to have it, or it's not, or it's not a criminal, where do I get it? Now, I, I came from Los Angeles. I actually was involved in the medical marijuana industry for years, and uh, I know it inside and out. Marijuana is benign and benevolent. It causes no disease. It causes no cancer. It doesn't harm people. Alcohol harms people. Prescription drugs harm people, okay? You have a chance here and an opportunity to create an incredible revenue source here in the city, especially with the boom that we have, where if we legalize marijuana inside of the city grounds, we can have stores, we can have jobs, we can have tax money. Imagine having 
toilet paper for the schools. I mean, that's what they want, right? They want toilet paper and textbooks. But you can't do that without money. And the second thing I want to bring up is an objection. And the objection I want to bring up is the Sunshine Act allows us public comment. And I'm going to tell you what it actually says so it's not uh, as ambiguous as you folks want it to be. It actually says, and I quote, that citizens can comment on matters of concern, comma. Now, when that comma comes in there, that, that matters of concern means that whatever I want to talk about, I should be able to come up here and talk about. Now, I understand you went with the court ruling, and the court ruling says that only on agenda items, but that's because the court wasn't asked to go further. So what I'm asking the council to do is go one step further with the Sunshine Act and allow people to come up and comment on matters of concern. I mean, to, to, to not allow that is actually a violation. You guys have been in violation for 50 years now. Okay, it's $1,000 per violation. So if you do that math, you guys are really in the hole, right? So get yourself out of the hole. Let's legalize marijuana in the city. Let's bring free speech back. If Ben Franklin was here right now, who was a hemp farmer, by the way, he would, he would spit on this podium and say, no public, open public comment is not what I fought for and not what people died for. So noted. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Decker, do you have any uh, additional names? There are no other speakers, Mr. President. Thank you very much. We now consider the resolutions and bills on our second reading and final passes calendar. Mr. Decker, would you please read the title of 140805? A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fee simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 29th and 47th wards of the city of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilman Greenlee. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. The resolution 140805 be adopted. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And 140805 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 140807. A resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Public Property to execute and deliver to the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority without consideration deeds conveying conditional fee simple title to the city on lots of pieces of ground with the buildings and improvements are on, situated in the 36th ward of the city of Philadelphia. Chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And resolution 140807 is adopted. Mr. Decker, 140808. A resolution amending resolution number 140528, approving the annual program statement and budget for the expenditure of the Neighborhood Transformation Initiative bond proceeds for fiscal year 2015. Chair again recognizes Councilman Johnson. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. And resolution 140808 is adopted. Uh, Mr. Decker, please read the title 140813. A resolution honoring and congratulating the uh, Philadelphia Horticultural Society 2014 Flower Show for winning 17 awards, including being named the world's best event by the International Festivals and Events Association. Chair here recognizes Council Mesquilla. Mr. Uh, President, on your behalf, I, I move that the resolution number 140813 be withdrawn. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. Motion passes. Resolution 140813 is withdrawn. Thank you very much, Council Mesquilla. Mr. Decker, please read the title of 140486. An ordinance amending section 9204 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Sidewalk Vendors in Center City by eliminating previously designated vendor locations in Center City and by revising and adding to the list of locations that shall not be designated for vending. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Aye. Councilwoman Blackwell. Aye. Councilman Good. Aye. Councilman Greenlee. Aye. Councilman Heenan. Aye. Councilman Johnson. Aye. Councilman Jones. Aye. Councilman Kenny. Councilman Nielsen, Aye. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Carolina Sanchez, Aye. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 16, the nays are one, the majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140651. An ordinance authorizing the revision of lines and grades on a portion of city plan number 238 by striking from the city plan and vacating Hall Street from Fifth Street to its terminus, terminus westwardly therefrom. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Good. Councilman Greenlee. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. 
Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilman Kenny, Aye. Councilman Nielsen, Aye. Councilman O'Brien, yes. Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Gunnarina Sanchez, Aye. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140691. An ordinance authorizing Paul Stolfo to construct on and maintain an elevator encroachment to be located at 2536 through 38 Broad Street. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Good. Councilman Greenlee. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilman Kenny, Aye. Councilman Nielsen, Aye. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Aye. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Aye. Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140696. An ordinance repealing an ordinance, bill number 140490, entitled an ordinance authorizing Cafe Italiano to construct on and maintain an open air sidewalk cafe at 1871 Cotman Avenue. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Aye. Councilman Nielsen, Aye. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members voting. President voting in the affirmative the bill passes. Mr. Jekyll 130879. An ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Zoning and Planning by revising certain provisions relating to the City Avenue Overlay District as it pertains to signage. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Aye. Mr. Councilman Good, Aye. Councilman Greenlee, Aye. Councilman Heenan, Aye. Councilman Johnson, Aye. Councilman Jones, Aye. Councilman Kenny, Aye. Councilman Nielsen. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, please read the title of 140487. An ordinance amending Title 14 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Zoning and Planning by Changing the Street Frontage Requirements with Lots with Multi Street Frontage in Certain Residential Zoning Districts. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17, nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140633. An ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by 15th Street, Cecil B. Moore Avenue, Ridge Avenue, 25th Street, and Diamond Street. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Good. Councilman Greenlee. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen, Aye. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Aye. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140646. And would in submitting Chapter 14600 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Use Regulations to Provide the Boundaries of Area 1 and Area 2 as defined. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman no Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Aye. Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140647. An ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Spruce Street, 4th Street, Pine Street, 2nd Street, South Street, 3rd Street, Lombard Street, 5th Street, Pine Street, and 6th Street. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, 
Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Governor Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140648. An ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning mass by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Oregon Avenue, Delaware Expressway, and Front Street. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen. Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Governor Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, 140652. And ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning mass by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Cedar Street, Venango Street, Gall Street, and Tioga Street. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Gunnarina Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in the affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, please read the title of 140719. An ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing the zoning designations of certain areas of land located within an area bounded by Rising Sun Avenue, Geneva Road, West Westford Road, and Tabor Road. This bill has been read on two separate days. The question is, shall the bill pass finally? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilman Good, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Heenan, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Jones, Councilman Kenny, Councilman Nielsen, Councilman O'Brien, Councilman O'Neill, Councilman O, Councilwoman Conrad Sanchez, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown, Councilman Squilla, Councilwoman Tasco, Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 17 and nays are zero. Majority of members present voting in affirmative. The bill passes. Mr. Decker, do you have any additional resolutions? A resolution celebrating the vibrant, impactful, and accomplished life of Gloria, Gloria Cesarez, director of the Mayor's Office of LGBT Affairs, whose tragic passing at the age of 42 is a profound loss to family, friends, and the countless Philadelphians whose lives were improved because of her service, introduced by Councilman Kenny. Chair recognizes Councilman Kenny. Mr. President, move for the adoption of resolution by a standing yes vote. Thank you very much. That resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring and congratulating Maniko Spingner Macbeth for winning the 2014 Frito Lay Do Us a Flavor contest introduced by Councilman Greenlee on behalf of Council President Clark. Chair recognizes Councilman Greenlee. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have net resolution is adopted. And a resolution recognizing and reaffirming the City of Philadelphia's commitment toward the benefits of a diet high in fruits and vegetables and urging residents to participate in Meatless Mondays in order to improve their health, introduced by Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it, and that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring and congratulating the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society 2014 Flower Show for winning 17 awards, including being named the world's best event by the International Festivals and Events Association, introduced by Councilman Squilla on behalf of Council President Clark. Chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, ayes have it. Net resolution is adopted. And a resolution authorizing the Committee on Public Health and Human Services to conduct hearings concerning the impact of bed bugs on physical and mental health, the rights and responsibilities of dealing with bed bug infestation, and to commission a bed bug task force to determine best management practices and recommendations introduced by Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed, ayes have it. Net resolution is adopted. 
And a resolution honoring heavyweight boxer, Philadelphia native and Germantown High School graduate, Steve USS Cunningham, on his recent boxing victory at the 2300 Arena, introduced by Councilwoman Bass. She recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, eyes having that resolution is adopted. And a resolution honoring Rosalind McKelvey for her commitment and dedication to services for the deaf and hard of hearing residents of the 8th Council District introduced by Councilwoman Bass. Chair again recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, eyes having that resolution is also adopted. And a resolution commemorating the dedication of an official state historical marker that recognizes and honors Edison High School and its former students who died in the Vietnam War, introduced by Councilman O. Chair recognizes Councilman O. I move for the adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Those opposed, eyes having that resolution is adopted. There are no other resolutions on the final passage calendar, Mr. President. And thank you very much. And that concludes our calendar for today. Are there any speeches on the part of the minority? There being none, are there speeches on the part of the majority? And the chair recognizes Councilman Johnson. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, today I introduce a bill to extend the opportunity for individuals who want to apply for the LOOP program, which is necessarily needed. Um, you know, I've always been an advocate of making sure that um, long term residents have an opportunity to stay in their home. And so, we want to make sure that the unintended consequence of, of higher taxes um, in certain neighborhoods throughout the second councilmatic district doesn't uh, resolve in individuals losing their home. And so we want to encourage as many people as possible to participate in the loop tax relief program. Um, on another note, um, two days ago, um, there was a memorial service for a young man who um, was murdered southwest part of my district. Uh, he was born and raised in South Philadelphia. And there no, he was known as um, Dirt Bike Rail. And a lot of young people came out to pay homage to this young man. And it brought back um, a debate, a discussion that we had here on city council floor um, on how we should find ways for young men who ride these dirt bikes and ATVs, which are illegal here in the city of Philadelphia to, drive, to ride on our streets really a place for them to actually um, ride their ATVs, ride their motorbikes. Um, it stops them from being on the corner, selling drugs, and we should revisit that conversation. I'm going to be reaching out uh, to the chairman of public safety, and I know Councilman Blondo when was around, stepped up and um, had the hearings, because if we could do it for the skateboard crew, we should be able to do it for those young men who ride these ATVs and these mopeds. I think when there's a will, there's a way, and so I'm going to be speaking to both of my colleagues um, to address this issue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councilman. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Blackwell. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank everyone, and that includes each and every member of council and even the administration for supporting the issue of having on the ballot uh, a local school board. We won't have it in November, but certainly after today, it is official that we will have it on the spring uh, ballot. So we thank you and look forward to having a discussion about what that should look like, but at least we've come this far. Thank you. Thank you so much, Councilwoman. There being no additional speeches on behalf of the minority and majority, the chair now recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds-Brown for a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that council stand adjourned until Thursday, October 30th, 2014 at 10 a.m. Thank you, second. The moon would probably second that the council stand adjourned until Thursday, October 30th, 2014 at 10 a.m. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, ayes. Council is adjourned. Thank you very much.